welcome. This is uh, Shoot Steel with HackingJungle.com, and today we're going to be uh, modifying a 7400 light on uh, with iPrep. Now, some of you are not familiar with iPrep, uh, but if you're having trouble with uh, uh, light on freezes uh, with Jungle Flasher, this is about the slickest trick in the book. Um, you get uh, iPrep. I'm using I, uh, the newest iPrep out. 10.7. Uh, first thing you do, I'll remove this. First thing you do when you open up iPrep, you select the drive that you want to flash. Uh, mine uh, happens to be the 7400, so I'm going to load the firmware. It'll, <coughs> it goes up to the folder where I just have the firmware loaded. I select the firmware, click open, and there it is, loaded up there. Uh, I'm on a, a VIA uh, card. On a raid, I select my COM port, the COM port one, and that'll be uh, to a serial cable attached to my uh, uh, CK3. Uh, see that? And at this time, you could you could see that the CK3 is not powered up, but uh, you must have the probe uh, for first time flashing, and you must have. Uh, the CK3 uh, with the serial cable or uh, a USB. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do here, make sure we have this on COM1. That's my serial cable. Then I'm going to uh, select my uh, thumb drive. Now, thumb drives always have to be under uh, uh, 2 uh, gigabytes. So I select it. It's E. I'm going to format it and make it bootable. Hit start. It's going to run through. Uh, making my thumbstick bootable and it's all done it's ready to go now I hit reboot PC that works fine for me for some of you that might be a problem uh, then you could use shutdown PC uh, and then hit restart uh, anyways I hit reboot, reboot PC hit OK now I need to get to my boot screen for me it's F12 And I'll go down to my USB flash device. Then this will bring up iPrep. Uh, now we're booted off the thumb drive at this point. Um, uh, it, do I agree to these terms? Yes, of course. And uh, here we are. And I'd like to take this time to thank Clutch for this great uh, application. Um, what we're first going to do is we're going we're to be flashing a, a light on 74. So I'm going to type light or L74. I've already uh, flashed this drive. I know what the properties are. Uh, I have them saved. So I'm going to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, space, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to turn on my CK3 Pro. Um, it's attached with the serial cable, and my drive is ejected two inches, um, and the probe I am now placing into the R707 port, making sure that I get I have both the blue and the green lights on the probe, and press any key to continue. And then it's going to ask you if you did all that. Press yes again or Y again. Enter. It will pull the drive ten times. Okay, remove the probe, and they ask you, "Does this uh, appear correct to you?" And it does to me, so I press Y. Success. All right. Any key? And it says, make sure your uh, drive is turned on. We haven't touched the power, so it should still be on. I'm going to press Y. Erases the drive. Now it wants us to turn the drive on and off. Press any key. Alrighty. Now, this ends up uh, saying success. We've done it right. 
And it also tells us that our firmware is saved to our backups folder uh, with that uh, identifying number string on your thumb drive. So at this point, you could uh, pull your thumb drive, uh, then reboot your computer, uh, reinsert your thumb drive after your computer's uh, booted up, and uh, copy your drive keys and uh, your dump files uh, from there to somewhere else on your computer, maybe burn it to a disk, that way you always have it safe. Light on's a little difficult if you lose the, if you lose this and you lock it up, you really need that information, uh, you might need it in the future. But uh, This is Shoot Steel with HackingJungle.com, and uh, again, many thanks to Clutch. Have a good day.